My name is Corrine Seidel. I was born May 13, 1964. I was born in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I grew up on Main Street in Slinger, Kettle Moraine Drive. My hobbies when I was in high school were reading, riding horses, and hanging out with my friends. My very first job was working at Dairy Queen in Slinger. After I worked at Dairy Queen, I worked at uh, the nursing home in near West Bend for a while. It was called um, Cedar Lake Home. And uh, then I worked at a plating company in Slinger for a while. And from then I uh, went and was working uh, at the the big factory in town, um, Titan Wheel. So those were my jobs up until I was on the fire department. And then uh, while I was working at 3D Circuits, actually, I uh, ap applied to become a firefighter. And at that time, you had to have a sponsor. You couldn't just join. You actually had to know somebody on the department already. And I went to the fire chief. And he sponsored me. I went into firefighting because my dad had, was actually on the department also. And I thought it was very interesting um, what he was doing. So I wanted to help my community also. How old was I when I started? Let's see. I was in my early 20s. I, for my job at, on the fire department, I started out with just learning the, the ropes and climbing ladders and how to wear an air tank, um, pulling the hoses off the trucks, putting the hoses back on the trucks after the fire. But I also, they needed a, a driver for one of their trucks because it was stick shift. And a lot of the guys, most of the guys didn't know how to drive stick shift. But I did. So I learned how to drive and operate the one fire truck, which was also a, a pumper, which hauled and pumped water. So that uh, was quite interesting. I remember one time I was heading out to, actually it was just practice, but I was driving and sitting at a stoplight, stop sign, somebody was going by and he was craning his neck like, is that a girl driving that fire truck? Well, he wasn't paying attention and he ran his car into a curb. And when we came back from our practice, the car was still sitting there. He was had to change his tire or something, but uh, yeah, he had disabled the, his vehicle because he was not paying attention. I was on the fire department for approximately five years. I ended up getting off the department because I had uh, injured my knee and it was no longer safe for me to be on the department. I was at a, a fire, it was actually a barn fire, and uh, we were cleaning up down in the basement area of the barn and I twisted wrong and hit the ground. I fell and they ended up having to help me out and I said that's enough. Um, it's getting it's too dangerous. Uh, if they, I'm not only endangering my life but if I fall they're, um, I'm endangering other people's lives because they they'll have to come in and get drag me out. Oh some other stories. I remember one time we were at a fire and it was a house fire and it was really a very sad time because I believe it was the first time in Slinger's history that somebody had died in the fire. There was, it was actually a husband and wife. They were, it was an older couple. So that was quite a memorable moment. Um, oh, my very first experience. It was scary because you got to get into your your fire gear and you're you know so you're wearing your big heavy bunker pants you're wearing your big heavy coat 
you've got a helmet and a mask and gloves and when you're all dressed up it's really kind of hard to tell one person from another but it was just it's like am I doing this right am I am, am I and I am I gonna be able to do this it was just kind of scary you know and then you're 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 walking t towards the fire you normally people will run away from fires it being a firefighter you have to walk into the fire so it was it took a little bit to get used to there were some people that were very welcoming to the thought of being the first woman the only woman on the department quite a few of them were were very accepting to that but there were a number of people number of men on the department that were not happy about the situation it was the man's club it was the place for the guys to hang out and I was invading their territory and um, one of you know I, I happen to remember the one 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 in particular was the guy who took care of the the fire trucks uh did most of the maintenance on the fire trucks he was not happy that there was a woman driving one of his trucks and there there were a few other people that they'd make snide remarks which right now it's it's been so long i don't even remember what they were but for the most part, people were very supportive. Yes, I worked with my dad while I was on the department. He kind of tried not to show any favoritism because he was one of he was a captain on the department at the time. So he he tried to treat me like any other firefighter. My name is Steve Conrath. I was born in 1963. I was born in West Bend and I grew up in town of Allenton. I grew up in a small neighborhood. I knew pretty much everybody that lived in the neighborhood. A lot of the kids are all friends. My hobbies when we were growing up was uh, I liked to play softball. We'd get the whole neighborhood together, played softball games, baseball. We went hunting a lot in the area. Through high school, I took part in sports, football. My first job was working as a painter. My dad owned his own painting business. And I, uh, from about the time I was 14 years old, I think I started painting houses. Did that for a few years. I worked in a meat market. I was a, worked in the cleanup crew there. And uh, did that until I went on to school later. I guess what inspired me to go into firefighting was the fact that my dad used to be the fire chief for the volunteer fire department in Allenton and uh, all my brothers also belonged to the fire department along with my dad so it was kind of natural for me to get into that and when I started in the fire department I was I was 18 as soon as I got out of school and I turned 18 I joined and your first jobs as a firefighter are not real glamorous you're gonna do a lot of the, the harder work the, a lot of the cleanup type work but uh, now that I've been on the fire department 35 years uh, jobs I hold now is I'm a, a driver and an operator and I help the officers I'm also work as the secretary of the department and uh, I look back I guess over 35 some years I've seen a lot of different fires and a lot of things I can't honestly say that any one particular incident sticks out in my mind. I've seen a lot of big fires and they all, you kind of get used to it after a while, but uh, what does stick in your memory is, unfortunately I've been on a lot of bad traffic accidents and I've seen a lot of things there, then those are the things when people are involved that really kind of stay in your memory. <laughs> 